Film, as an art form, is a unique medium that amalgamates various elements such as visual imagery, sound, narrative, and performance to create a complex and multifaceted experience for the viewer. The philosophy of film delves into the questions of meaning and interpretation, exploring how films communicate ideas, emotions, and stories, and how audiences make sense of these cinematic experiences. One of the central concerns in the philosophy of film is the nature of cinematic meaning. Unlike other art forms, films have the ability to present a simulated reality that can closely mimic our own experiences. This immersive quality raises intriguing questions about the ontological status of filmic representations. Are they mere illusions, or do they possess a reality of their own? Philosophers like André Bazin have argued that film has a unique capacity to capture and reveal reality. Bazin's notion of the ontology of the photographic image suggests that the film image, by virtue of its photographic basis, has a direct and objective connection to the real world. This idea posits that films can reveal truths about the world in ways that other art forms cannot. However, not all philosophers agree with Bazin's realist perspective. For instance, the formalist approach, championed by figures like Sergei Eisenstein, emphasizes the constructed nature of film. From this viewpoint, meaning in film arises not from a direct connection to reality but from the manipulation of cinematic elements such as montage, mise en scene, and sound. Eisenstein's theory of montage, for example, demonstrates how the juxtaposition of images can create new meanings and evoke emotions that are not inherent in the individual shots. This constructivist approach highlights the active role of the filmmaker in shaping the audience's experience and underscores the idea that cinematic meaning is a product of artistic creation rather than a straightforward reflection of reality. The question of interpretation is closely tied to the issue of meaning. How do audiences interpret films, and what factors influence their understanding? Hermeneutics, the theory of interpretation, provides a framework for examining these questions. Hans George Gadamer's notion of the fusion of horizons suggests that understanding is a dialogical process in which the interpreter's own historical and cultural context interacts with the work of art. Applied to film, this means that viewers bring their own experiences, knowledge, and expectations to their interpretation of a film, creating a dynamic interplay between the text and the viewer. Moreover, the polysemic nature of film means that it can be open to multiple interpretations. A single film can be understood in different ways by different viewers, depending on their perspectives and the contexts in which they engage with the film. This multiplicity of meanings is often seen as a strength of the medium, allowing for rich and varied experiences and discussions. For example, a film like Stanley Kubrick's 2001, A Space Odyssey has been interpreted in numerous ways, ranging from a meditation on human evolution to a critique of technological hubris. The film's ambiguity and openness to interpretation invite viewers to engage in a deeper exploration of its themes and meanings. Another important aspect of the philosophy of film is the role of narrative. Films often rely on storytelling to convey meaning, and the study of narrative structure in film is crucial to understanding how films communicate. Narratology, the study of narrative and narrative structure, offers insights into how stories are constructed and how they function in films. Classical narrative theory, as outlined by scholars like Tsvetan Todorov and Gerard Jeanette, examines the formal elements of narrative, such as plot, character, and point of view, and how these elements work together to create meaning. In addition to classical narratology, contemporary approaches to narrative in film have expanded to include a broader range of considerations. For example, feminist and postcolonial theories have highlighted how narratives in film can reinforce or challenge social and cultural norms. By analyzing the ways in which films represent gender, race, and identity, these approaches reveal the ideological dimensions of cinematic storytelling and the power dynamics embedded in film narratives. The concept of spectatorship is also central to the philosophy of film. Spectatorship refers to the ways in which viewers engage with and respond to films. This involves not only the cognitive processes of understanding and interpreting the film, but also the emotional and affective responses that films elicit. Psychoanalytic film theory, particularly the work of scholars like Laura Mulvey, has explored how films engage the unconscious desires and fantasies of viewers. Mulvey's influential essay Visual Pleasure and Narrative Cinema argues that classical Hollywood cinema often employs a male gaze, 
positioning the viewer in a way that objectifies female characters and reinforces patriarchal structures. Conversely, the concept of the active spectator suggests that viewers are not passive recipients of cinematic meaning but actively construct their own interpretations. This perspective emphasizes the agency of the viewer and the ways in which individual and collective experiences shape the understanding of films. Cognitive film theory, for example, examines how viewers use their cognitive and perceptual faculties to make sense of films, highlighting the active role of the mind in the process of cinematic engagement. The philosophy of film also grapples with the ethical implications of cinematic representation. Films have the power to influence attitudes, beliefs, and behaviors, and this raises important ethical questions about the responsibilities of filmmakers and the potential impact of films on society. Issues such as the portrayal of violence, the representation of marginalized groups, and the manipulation of emotional responses are all areas of ethical concern in film. Philosophers like Noel Carroll have argued for a moderate moralism, suggesting that while films should be evaluated primarily on their aesthetic merits, ethical considerations can and should play a role in the assessment of films. In addition to ethical considerations, the philosophy of film examines the political dimensions of cinema. Films can serve as tools of propaganda, instruments of social change, or reflections of political ideologies. Marxist film theory, for example, analyzes how films can both reflect and reinforce the interests of dominant social classes, as well as how they can serve as a means of ideological critique. The work of filmmakers like Jean-Luc Godard and the films of the Soviet Montage School exemplify the use of cinema as a medium for political expression and revolutionary ideas. Furthermore, the advent of new technologies and the digital revolution have transformed the landscape of film and its philosophy. Digital cinema, virtual reality, and streaming platforms have altered the ways in which films are produced, distributed, and consumed. These changes raise new philosophical questions about the nature of film as an art form and its relationship to technology. The digital manipulation of images, for example, challenges traditional notions of photographic realism and authenticity, prompting a re-evaluation of the ontological status of the film image. The philosophy of film also extends to the study of genre and its role in shaping cinematic meaning. Genre theory explores how films adhere to, subvert, or innovate upon established genre conventions. By examining the characteristics and functions of different genres, such as horror, comedy, or science fiction, scholars can gain insights into how films engage with audience expectations and cultural contexts. The interplay between genre conventions and individual films highlights the dynamic nature of cinematic meaning and the ways in which genres evolve over time. Another area of interest in the philosophy of film is the concept of auteur theory, which focuses on the role of the director as the primary creative force behind a film. Originating in the writings of French film critics such as Francois Truffaut and further developed by scholars like Andrew Serres, auteur theory posits that a director's personal vision, style, and thematic preoccupations can imbue a film with a distinctive and recognizable signature. This approach emphasizes the artistic agency of the director and invites viewers to consider films as expressions of individual creativity and vision. The philosophy of film also engages with the sensory and experimental dimensions of cinema. The embodied experience of watching a film, including the sensory impact of sound and visual imagery, plays a crucial role in the creation of meaning. Phenomenological approaches to film, drawing on the work of philosophers like Maurice Merleau-Ponty, explore how films engage the viewer's perceptual and sensory faculties, creating a lived experience that transcends mere intellectual interpretation. This emphasis on the sensory aspects of film underscores the importance of the medium's ability to evoke visceral and emotional responses. Moreover, the philosophy of film considers the role of time and temporality in cinematic experience. Films manipulate time in various ways, through editing, narrative structure, and the pacing of scenes, to create different temporal experiences for the viewer. The concept of cinematic time challenges conventional understandings of temporality and invites philosophical reflection on how films construct and represent time. Dil Deleuze's work on cinema, for example, explores the distinctions between the movement image and the time image, offering a framework for understanding how films can convey different temporal experiences and philosophical ideas about time. In conclusion, the philosophy of film is a rich and multifaceted field that encompasses a wide range of topics and approaches. 
From questions of meaning and interpretation to considerations of narrative, spectatorship, ethics, politics, and aesthetics, the philosophy of film offers a deep and nuanced understanding of cinema as an art form. By examining how films create and communicate meaning, how viewers engage with and interpret films, and the broader social, cultural, and technological contexts in which films are made and consumed, the philosophy of film provides valuable insights into the complex and dynamic nature of cinematic experience. Whether through the lens of realism, formalism, hermeneutics, or phenomenology, the study of film continues to illuminate the profound ways in which cinema shapes and reflects our understanding of the world.